here at the Miami Beach Police Department earlier this week. Police charged him with sexual battery of a 14 year old girl. We did speak with his lawyer um, earlier tonight who says that these charges are false. This is the mugshot of 37 year old Michael Nowak Jr., also known as Brother Polite, to his more than 300,000 Instagram followers. Miami Beach police arrested Nowak this week for alleged sexual battery of a 14 year old girl in a hotel room in February. Police say the alleged victim was the daughter of a woman he was romantically linked to. Defense attorney David Terrace says his client is innocent. Once the evidence is produced, um, that he is going to be exonerated. Uh, so yeah, not guilty, nothing else. According to the police report, Noack, a motivational speaker and author who lives in L.A., asked the woman if he could take her daughter to an after party at a club in Miami. The report states Noack took the teen to his hotel after seeing that the club was closed. Police say the suspect gave the teen alcohol and started dancing and touching the teen inappropriately, groping her breast, in her thighs and buttocks. It goes on to say Noack tried to force the teen to perform oral sex on him. The teen allegedly passed out and woke up to Noack trying to make her throw up. These are serious allegations, but in any situation, there is always motive. Um, there is always um, a lot behind the scenes uh, that the public is not going to be able to see. The report states that the girl's mother found her intoxicated and possibly on drugs with severe swelling on her mouth and lips. It later states Noack told the mother not to call police because it would ruin his career. Noack was served with a DNA warrant in June and surrendered to police on Monday. Terrace says the police report is only an allegation. All right. Okay, can you tell me your full name and date of birth? Michael, you know, Michael Eugene Oak Jr., August 10th, 1983. All right, thank you. You were originally charged under case number F21-14438 with the following charges. Lewd and lascivious molestation on a child, a second-degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years state prison. Count two was lewd and lascivious molestation on a child, 12 to 16 years, a second-degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years state prison. Lewd and lascivious conduct on a child under 16 by a defendant 18 or over, a second-degree felony, punishable by up to 15 years state prison. Count four, lewd and lascivious exhibition on a child under 16 years, Defendant over 18, a second degree felony punishable by up to 15 years state prison and contributing to the delinquency dependency of a child, a first degree misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail. And then count six is interference with custody, a third degree felony punishable by up to five years state prison. The state has now filed an amended information today charging you with the following. Aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison. Count two is aggravated child abuse, great bodily harm, a first degree felony punishable by up to 30 years state prison and contributing to the delinquency uh, dependency of a child, a first degree misdemeanor punishable by up to one year in jail. It is my understanding that you wish to plead guilty to this new information you would be adjudicated guilty, and your sentence has been um, memorialized in a four-page plea agreement. Did you have the opportunity to go over this plea agreement with your lawyer? Yes. Okay. I do need uh, the defendant to initial each page because there are not initials on these pages. All right. Let me know when it's done. So you heard what he's pleading guilty to. He can't say no foolishness. So he lied to, to Sarnetta and them. He lied. That's why he don't want y'all to hear it, family. You see the scam? You see the flim flam, the Brooklyn magic? He don't want y'all to hear that now he pleads guilty to this nasty shit. No act that you have gone over this plea agreement with your lawyer, and I want to go over it with you, not each and every aspect of it, but the major components of the plea agreement. But what I am going to ask is for the state to tell me the general terms of the agreement, and then we will um, go into the details on the contract. Go ahead. 
Your Honor, the plea agreement includes um, an adjudication, seven years of state prison, followed by 10 years of reporting probation. As a condition of probation, the defendant it's, will- When you say 10 years probation. 10 years reporting probation. Okay. The defendant will um, complete the MDSO program. The defendant will not be allowed to have unsupervised contact with children. The defendant will have specific terms regarding um, uh, where he may work and the ability to wear a uniform. Um, there are um, additional um, terms of restitution, of which uh, 5,000 has been agreed to be paid up front within 24 hours mailed to the defense, or sorry, to the victim, um, and additional restitution to be paid out on a monthly basis once he is out of custody. Um, and that monthly amount is highlighted in the written terms of the plea agreement. Additionally, there will be a stay away order from victim TS and her mother, which is also mentioned in the plea agreement. What is the total amount of the restitution? The total amount of restitution is $25,000. Okay. All right. Um, yes, Your Honor. Okay. All right. Okay, so Mr. Nowak, uh, the terms of the plea agreement are as what the prosecutor just stated, that you are going to be entering a plea of guilty to the two counts of aggravated child abuse and one count of deliver, uh, contributing to the delinquency of a minor. You will be adjudicated guilty, which is a criminal conviction on your record. Do you also understand, sir, that by entering into this plea that it may subject you to involuntary civil commitment Proceedings set forth in Florida statutes 394.910 through 394.931. Do you understand everything that I've said thus far? Yeah. Okay. Now, I want to also advise you, sir, that you are going to be sentenced to seven years in state prison to be followed by 10 years of reporting probation. In addition to any of these special conditions of probation, you will also participate in and successfully complete a mentally disordered sex offender treatment program that you are also uh, not eligible. Okay, you, you may, according to the state, you may be eligible for early termination if all of the conditions of your probation have been completed, that you have had no violations of your probation, and that uh, you have not been arrested for any other criminal offense. Is that correct? Please? And to, to clarify, the terms stated in, in five is there is no prohibition on early termination. However, there is a requirement that any modification to this agreement be agreed by the state and the court. Okay. All right, sir. Now, with respect to this plea agreement, I have on each page next to defendant's initials MN. Did you, in fact, affix those initials to each page? I did. And have you reviewed each and every component of this plea agreement uh, going through page one and page through page four? I have. Now it says uh, page four, having read the above mentioned terms of this plea agreement and having been advised by my counsel, David Terras, I, Michael Noak, freely and voluntarily enter into this plea agreement and agree to abide by all terms and conditions of this plea agreement and agree that failure to comply with any terms or conditions within this agreement constitutes a violation of probation and subjects me to be sentenced to the statutory maximum penalties provided by law for the crimes for which I am now pleading guilty. And then it has a signature over the name Michael Noah. Is it, that in fact your signature, sir? Yes, sir. All right. And I am now going to place my signature on this plea agreement in that I am now going to be ratifying this plea agreement as negotiated between the state of Florida and your attorney. Has anybody, including your lawyer, told you anything differently than what I just told you? No. Are you under the influence of any alcohol, drugs, or medication affecting your ability to understand me? No. Is anybody forcing, threatening, or coercing you to enter into this plea? No. Do you understand that if you're not a United States citizen, the entry of this plea will have negative immigration consequences, including deportation and removal? I understand. You had the right, sir, to have gone to a jury trial where your lawyer had the ability to compel the attendance of witnesses on your behalf, the ability to confront and cross-examine the witnesses and evidence against you. You had the right to testify just like any other witness or remain silent 
and your silence could not have been used against you if you went to a jury.